I'm gonna show you how I made $800 in flipping gum in just 24 hours. This is a little guide I made on Medium, so if you want this, it will be in the description down below. But uh, I'm gonna go over exactly how I've been doing this, and I've only been doing this for two weeks. Um, I literally said to my community, that on the 25th, I'm gonna start learning how to sell on the Amazon machine. And already I've uh, you know, made quite a bit of money. I've actually made six, actually more than that, about, um, about $3,000, I think. Um, but we'll get into that because this was the third, it is now the fifth, and I've made a couple hundred, I think I'm about 3,100. If I actually uh, pull up this screen right here, you can see I made a 3,200 in about a, a week. So this is when I just started. Average sale is $41. So not too bad. So let's go over how I actually did this. So uh, what I've been doing is looking for products that uh, can sell well, are low to uh, carry, to ship. And those are things like barbecue sauce, video games, seasoning, books, and that sort of thing. So how do we actually do this? Well, you need data. And data will get you wrecked or it will uh, set you free in a sense because data is going to, if you don't have the right data, you won't know what the selling price is, how many people are buying, uh, what all the numbers look like. And so we're gonna scroll down a little bit further and uh, we pull up this little chart here. You can see that there are four different categories essentially that you have to look out for. One's uh, acceptance or application, and then an IP alert. So that means an intellectual property alert has been uh, claimed on this. Um, this one is restricted. So either they're not accepting people at that for this particular product, or you just haven't hit the, the milestones to that. And then finally, the sell one, which means it is open for you to sell on. And this is what I mean by application, we say, I need to sign up for this. These are the requirements and there you go. So even though the numbers look great, say for instance, this one's selling for $8, this one's selling for $3, the max cost you can get these for is $3 or $8 without, uh, with breaking even. But the caveat is this one is selling for a thousand uh, sales every single month. This one's selling for zero. So Sure, you might make a few extra dollars here, but if you're not making enough money uh, or enough volume, then uh, th that's you're not gonna make any money because it's not selling. You're gonna be having holding costs, you're gonna actually lose money. So you just need to understand the data. So we go down a little bit further, you can see here, this is the max cost, which we just talked about, a little bit of a difference, and then what people are buying for at the buy box. So for instance, this one, buy box 19.99, right here, and what people are selling in a sense in their profits for FBM and FBA. So uh, pretty sweet stuff. If we scroll down a little further, I do have another tool, and this tool is uh, Rev Seller. I have a link down below so you can uh, get that. It's a very great tool that gives you all of this information. It's very inexpensive. This one's a free tool. It will tell you the how many FBA sellers and have, how many uh, FBM or yeah fulfilled by merchant sellers, and then if it's actually being sold by Amazon. And then the big data daddy would be Keepa, and that gives you the rundown of everything. So as you can see, I have uh, that barbecue sauce, the buy box, what new third party. FBM are selling and they're about sitting around $15 uh, or around, I think it's around $15, $16. Um, what the new sellers are selling it for. So between $11 and um, $8, what Amazon is selling for when they have stock. And as you can see, it started blowing up and then Amazon went out of stock and then the price started skyrocketing for this particular product. And now, uh, as Amazon is now fulfilled again, it the price is plummeting. So as you can see, the sales rank. Uh, just like here, you can see also the, uh, we can bring it down here, uh, that the buyer list is was really high, 
and now it's going very low, which is good because people are running out. And as you can see, when it was selling at a very low, not a lot, it then started raising in the price. So we have a downward slope of sellers and a increase in supply or demand rather. So very things to look for. So would I actually sell this barbecue sauce? Well, to apply, it would require 100 units to purchase this barbecue sauce. I would have to get it for $6 or less to break even. And uh, would I actually want to do that? Well, let's check out the numbers. So if we look at the numbers, you can see that I can go to their store and get it for $9.99, which would be well above this net profit. So we would be actually negative by doing that. Not a good shot, as you can see here, negative 38 ROI, margins 26. So even though you might think that you are selling for $14 and you're making a $4 spread, it's not, you're not considering Amazon fees, shipping fees, and that sort of thing. So uh, that's what the good old rev seller does is it shows you how much uh, pounds it is, the box size typically, and what you could fill it in. So uh, it takes all of that into consideration. But if we do a little bit deeper and dig down, you can see that we can actually buy wholesale in it, get it for $6, which is kind of sweet because if we put that in, then we are getting a outstanding profit of 18 cents at a ROI of three and a margin of one, which again, for me, even though we're in the green, I would not even touch this because ROI, you just look at uh, the bank, you can put it and get it at four and a half percent. So you'd actually be losing money due to inflation. So uh, no, I would not actually do this. So what about coffee? We can look at Java protein coffee. It is looking at the buy price of 24. We have a nice sweet ROI of 16%, a little bit better, but uh, still not what I would like to shoot for. We can see that if we buy a three at $24, $25, we would have a um, probably a profit of ROI of 10% maybe, so it's a little bit lower. I actually didn't put the 99 cents there and 99 cents matters. However, if we look at what they give you, they give you a free two free magic frothers, uh, free shipping, which is a mystery box and a recipe booklet. You could probably sell those uh, those magic spinners to for five to eight dollars to increase your ROI. Could it potentially make this ROI go from a uh, probably three six probably uh, 40%, so that would be a pretty solid choice. However, you do need 10 bags instead of 100, uh, which is then really good, but my concern is it's only been active for 62 days, and uh, if it's only been active for 62 days, and there is only pretty much one buyer themselves or seller on Amazon, would they come after me for a IP strike? That would be my worry. And so I actually just emailed them and I said, hey, this is what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to buy your product, sell it, and uh, sell it on Amazon. And we'll see what they say. Uh, I'm waiting for the email back. But I was transparent with them uh, because I don't want to be uh, them to be like, hey, you know, you're, you're selling our product and we didn't allow it. So I, I definitely wanted to ask permission. I did email them. So I, I said, there. this is... Their question, I emailed them saying, hey, I'm, I want to be transparent. Um, I'm going to be selling your product on Amazon. Uh, it could increase your value, uh, your sales volume. It could bring more brand awareness, that sort of thing. So very cool stuff. Is it worth selling on Amazon? I think so. I My typical order cost about $11 and I was fulfilling at 41 made, uh, it's actually higher than this that I showed you earlier. This was um, taken this morning at 4, 4.50 in the morning. It is now 11 in the morning. So uh, it's gone up about $200, I think. Um, so one week of doing this, $3,000 at a rate of 52 weeks would give me a $150,000 a year selling gum just from one product. So you can see if I added 12 products, how this could be an easy million dollar a year business. So that's how I've been making and selling gum. 
by buying it and reselling it on the Amazon store and how I use tools to give me the data so that I can make informed decisions on if it's worth it or not. If you guys want to join, you're more than welcome to join our free community. It's in the description and uh, there are links to the tools down below that I use. So that's it for now. Until next time, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.